Hello class! Welcome back to our channel. So, this video guys is continuation ng ating previous video about the product rule, quotient rule, and the chain rule. Okay, so let's have our first example. f of x is equals to 3x minus 2 times the quantity of 5x plus 4 raised to 4. So, dito guys, kung i-examine nyo yung ating given, meron tayong product of two functions. Tama? Ito yung f of x, then ito naman guys yung ating g of x. So, ibig sabihin, uh, to get the derivative ng ating given function, ang i-apply natin is yung product rule. Okay? So, kung tandaan nyo pa, yung formula ng ating product rule, we have uh, d over dx or yung derivative ng ating f of x times g of x is equals to f of x times the derivative of g of x plus g of x times the derivative of f of x. Tama? So, try natin. So, dito guys, meron tayong f of x equals 3x minus 2. So, pag kinuha natin yung derivative niyan, we have f prime of x is equals to positive 3. Tama? Derivative ng 3x is positive 3. Then, derivative of constant is 0. Okay? So, next yung ating g of x naman, which is equals to 5x plus 4 raised to 4. Okay? So, dito guys, uh, kung makapansin nyo, yung ating g of x ay isang composite function. Tama? Meron tayong outer function, which is yung naka-raise k4. Then, meron tayong inner function, which is 5x plus 4. Tama? So, ibig sabihin, para makuha natin yung derivative ng ating g prime of x, ang i-apply natin is yung chain rule. Okay? So, try natin. So, una, get the derivative of the outer function. So, multiply natin yan dyan yung ating exponent. So, we have 4 times the quantity of 5x plus 4. Then, magsusubtract tayo ng 1 doon sa ating exponent. Tama? Then, iti-chain natin ngayon guys yung derivative ng ating inner function. So, ang derivative ni 5x plus 4 is equals to positive 5. Tama guys? So, simplify natin to. We have g prime of x is equals to 4 times 5, that is positive 20, times the quantity of 5x plus 4, then 4 minus 1 cube. Okay? So, ngayon meron na tayong f of x, f prime of x, g of x, and g prime of x. Ibig sabihin, Pwede na nating ma-apply yung ating product rule. Okay? So, substitute natin guys. So, meron tayo ngayong f prime of x. Ito yung ating um, derivative ng pinaka-main function natin. Is equals to f of x which is 3x minus 2. Then, g prime of x. Ito yun. That is 20 times the quantity of 5x plus 4 cube plus uh, g of x which is, ito yun guys, yung 5x plus 4 raised to 4 times a prime of x which is positive 3. Tama? So, simplify natin to guys. So, para mag-simplify ng mga gantong um, type of uh, equation, guys, ang gagawin nyo is, hahanapin nyo yung mga common nila. Okay? So, ano, yung, ano ba yung mga pwede natin i-factor para ma-simplify natin tong ating uh, equation? So, as you can see, meron tayong 5x plus 4 dito sa ating first term. Then, meron din tayong 5x plus 4 dito sa ating right uh, second term. Tama? So, kung ang exponent nito ay positive 3, ito naman ay 4, ibig sabihin, 
pwede tayong maglabas ng uh, 5x plus 4 cube. Okay, ang ipa-factor out nyo, yung may pinaka ano, ay mas mababang exponent. Okay, so try natin. So, kung mag-factor out tayo ng 5x plus 4 cube, ibig sabihin, sa term na to, mawawala yung ating 5x plus 4 cube. Ang may iwan lang is yung 20 times the quantity of 3x minus 2. Nakuha? Then, dito naman sa ating second term, kung nag-factor out tayo guys ng 5x plus 4 cube, ibig sabihin, si 5x plus 4 raised to 4 dito, mababawasan to ng tatlo. Tama? So, ang may iiwan na lang sa loob natin is 5x plus 4 raised to 1. Kasi nga, naglabas tayo ng tatlo. Okay? Then, meron tayo ditong times 3. Ngayon, pwede na natin i-simplify yung mga naiwan. So, ang gagawin nyo lang, distribute natin yan. Okay, so that is 5x plus 4 cubed times we have 60x minus 40 plus 15x plus 12. Okay, then after nyan guys, pwede na natin mag-combine like terms. So, 60 plus 15. So, we have 5x plus 4 cube. Then, 60 plus 15, that is 75x. Then, next, negative 40 plus 12, that is negative uh, 28. Okay, so ito na ngayon guys, yung ating uh, f prime of x. Final answer. Nasundan guys? So let's proceed to example number 2. So find the derivative of g of t equals, we have the quantity of t minus 2 all over 2t plus 1 raised to 9. Okay, so again, uh, kung, kung i-examine nyo yung ating given, meron tayong composite function. Yung outer function natin, yung naka-raise to 9. Then, yung ating um, inner function is naka-quotient naman. Di ba? We have t minus 2 all over 2t plus 1. So, to get the derivative ng ating g of t, ang i-apply natin dito guys is yung chain rule muna. Okay? So, applying the chain rule, we have g prime of t is equals to, so 9 times 1, that's 9, times the quantity of t minus 2 all over 2t plus 1, then 9 minus 1. Tama? Ngayon, iti-chain natin yung derivative ng ating inner function. Ang inner function natin dito is yung t minus 2 all over 2t plus 1. So, dito guys, yung ating inner function is naka-quotient. Tama? Or may ratio tayo. Ibig sabihin, ang i-apply natin is yung ating uh, quotient rule. Okay? So, kung tandaan nyo pa, ang formula ng ating uh, quotient rule, if we have uh, f of x over g of x, that is equals to g of x, times the f prime of x minus f of x times g prime of x all over um, g of x square. Tama? Ito yung ating quotient rule. So, dito guys, uh, para ma-chain natin yung derivative ng ating inner function, yung ating um, f of x dito, is yung numerator, which is t minus 2. Tama? Then, ang g of x naman natin is yung kanyang denominator, which is uh, 2t plus 1. Okay? So, getting the derivative ni f of x, that is equals to positive 1. Tama? Derivative ni t is 1, then derivative of negative 2 is 0. Then, ang derivative naman ng ating g of x is equals to derivative of 2t, that is positive 2, 
Then, derivative ng constant ay 0. Okay? So, ngayon, pwede na nating makuha yung derivative ng ating inner function by using the uh, quotient rule. So, try natin. We have g of x, which is 2t plus 1, times f prime of x, positive 1, minus f of x, which is t minus 2, times g prime of x, so we have times 2, all over g of x, that's 2t plus 1, then square. Okay, then simplify natin to guys. So, this is 2t plus 1, pag dinistribute natin yan. Then, distribute din natin si 2. So, 2 times t, that's 2t times negative, that's negative 2t. Then, 2 times negative 2, that's negative 4. Times negative, we have positive 4. Tama? All over, we have 2t plus 1, then square. Okay? So, ngayon, pwede na natin makombine yung nasa numerator. So, maka-cancel out si 2t. Then, 1 plus 4, we have 5 over um, 2t plus 1 square. So, ito na ngayon, guys, yung derivative ng ating uh, inner function. Ngayon, pwede na natin uh, i-chain uh, yung ating derivative ng inner function dito sa ating main function. Tama? So, meron tayong g prime of x. So, lagay natin, lagay natin dito sa baba. Meron tayong g prime of t equals 9 times the, uh, the quantity of t minus 2 over 2t plus 1 raised to 9 minus 1. So, ito guys yung ating um, derivative ng outer function. Tama? So, i-chain natin to ngayon. So, that is 5 over the quantity of 2t plus 1 square. Okay, so simplify natin to guys. So, that is 9 times the quantity of t minus 2 over 2t plus 1 raised to 9 minus 1. So, that is positive 8 times... 5 over the quantity of 2t plus 1 square. Okay? So, para masimplify natin to guys, ang gagawin nyo is, pwede nating paghiwalayin yung numerator and denominator dito. Okay? So, pwede natin yung i-rewrite guys to 9 times the quantity of t minus 2 raised to 8 over the quantity of 2t plus 1 raised to 8. Okay, so parehas lang yan guys. Times, meron tayong 5 naman dito, over the quantity of 2t plus 1 square. Okay, so therefore, ang final answer natin dito, we have uh, 9 times 5, that is 45, then t minus 2 raised to 8, over so, 2t plus 1 raised to 8 times 2t plus 1 square. That is uh, equal to 2t plus 1 raised to 10. Tama? So, ito na ngayon guys yung ating g prime of t. So, final answer. Nakuha guys. So, this is the end of our video. I hope uh, naintindihan nyo guys kung paano ba natin ina-apply sila chain rule, product rule, and quotient rule. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!